Now in part D, it asks us to find the area, the exact area of the region R. <coughs> so I'll take you back up there just to show you it again. We're asked to find out the exact area of R. So I'll give you a few moments on that and uh, just pause the video, come back, see if you've got the right answer. Okay, now remember we are asked to find the exact area of R. So before we carry on, let's just recap then. Uh, we've got the x coordinates of A. The x coordinate of A was 2, so let me just mark that in there that that was 2. Uh, put a comma there. We don't know what the y coordinate is yet. Um, and the b coordinate. Uh, the x coordinate of b, I should say, that was 10 thirds. So uh, let's just put that in there, that that was 10 thirds. And there's a comma there, and we'll leave a space there in case we need the y coordinate. Okay, so uh, when x is 2, what I'm going to do then, if I'm going to get this area, is that I'm going to work out the area under the curve from O to A and then add in the area of the triangle. So I hope you got that. The area from O to A that will be this area here. I wonder if I could just draw that in. Let's see if we can. It will be an area like this down to there. Okay? So it'll be that kind of area. And then I'm going to add in the area of the triangle from uh, a to N. So what I'm going to need to do is find out the height here and so I'm going to need to put in when X is 2 and find out the Y value. So let's start this off by saying that when X is 2 try and find out what Y is. So Y is going to equal we sub it into the equation of the curve when Y equals um, so when x is 2, y will equal 2 cubed minus 8 times 2 squared plus 20 times 2. And if I work that out, 2 cubed is 8, 2 squared is 4, minus 8 fours, that's minus 32. And then we've got 20 times 2, that's 40. So work that out and we find that we get 16. So the y coordinate, let me mark it in here, is 16. So A has coordinates to 16. Okay, so the area then under AN being a triangle, okay, let's just put this here, area under AN, okay, is going to equal well, the area of a triangle is half the base times the height, so it's going to be half. And the base is, let's just draw a dotted line down in here, okay? Not great, but I'm looking at this triangle here. So the base is going to be this distance from across here. We know that n is 10 thirds, the x coordinate, and the x coordinate here is 2. So the base will be 10 thirds minus. 2, so that's the distance of the base, and then we want the height of the triangle, which we've just calculated is the 16, so that's 16. So the area of the triangle, that's the area under AN, will be half the base times the height. So if we work that out, we have, just doing it on the calculator, we get 32 over 3, 32 thirds and that would be an area, so that's square units or units squared. Okay. Now the area under the curve between O and A and the x-axis here, this, this piece that I've shaded here or tried to shade in black, okay, we're going to now calculate, so that would be the area, okay, under the curve so just write that in under the curve from O to A. Okay, 
equals and if we're finding an area it's the integral of the curve from x equals 0 to x equals 2 because this coordinate here the x coordinate is 2 let me just mark it in then 0 to 2 okay of the curve and the curve as we know is x cubed minus 8x squared plus 20x several terms here so put that in brackets integrate it with respect to x okay let's just scroll up equals okay now if we integrate this, we, well we have integrated it, it was uh, found in the earlier part, part C, we know that it's going to be x to the power 4 over 4 minus 8x cubed over 3 and plus 10x squared. Okay, put this in square brackets like so okay going between 0 and 2 so we substitute the values of 2 in first and then subtract the value of 0 in afterwards okay so put the 2 through so 2 to the power 4 let's just put that in 2 to the power 4 over 4 minus 8 times 2 cubed over 3 plus 10 times 2 squared, put that in square brackets and then we have to put the 0 through, well 0 through on each one of those terms is just going to be 0 so I'll just put minus 0, it just shows that we did put that through. So if we work this out on the calculator you should end up with 68 thirds, 68 thirds square units okay we're nearly there now so all we've got to do is just now find the area of R by adding together our last the, the, the answers that we got for the area under AM which was 32 thirds and our last answer of 68 thirds so that be the area of R so just to put this in here we can put therefore area R equals and that's going to be 32 thirds plus the 68 thirds and that's going to equal 100 thirds so 100 thirds square units okay I feel it's important to put square units because it is an area that we're talking about Okay, so I uh, hope you got that one, and uh, that's it. That's worth five marks. So well done if you did that. And that brings us to the end of question number 10.